What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of The Word on Woodward, presented by Bud Light. I'm Daniela Bruce, alongside Art Regner, and joining us today, newest Red Wings defenseman, Simon Edvinson. Simon, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Everyone is excited to get to know you a little more here today. Thank you for having me. Okay, we're going to start with something that I learned about you when I took a trip to Grand Rapids. You're big into soccer. You, Emil Vero, Albert Johansson, and even Cross Hannes was getting in on the talking about soccer. And they said that you think you're the best, but you're not actually the best. I, I, I just want you to comment on it and where this, this whole conversation comes from. Uh, yeah, this is a never-ending discussion, I think. Uh, <laughs> everybody thinks they're the best, but uh, yeah. We, I think we had like uh, someone that's filming us once. And mm-hmm. yeah, you could see pretty easy that I was the best one. I won most of the ring, so um, uh, yeah, but it didn't shut him up, so uh, <laughs> it's still it's still a never-ending discussion, yeah. Now, is it, now, do you call it soccer, or is it football to you? I will always call it football. So, so you're the yeah, best football yeah. player? I'm the best uh, football player, yeah, yeah. I just couldn't confuse the Americans watching, okay? Right, right, since right, we right. have to call it we, soccer, yeah. Yeah, we, we always call it soccer. Yeah, exactly. Are you a fan of American football? Do you have you followed it at all or? Uh, I like it actually. Uh, I didn't understand much when I came, but uh, yeah, I, I'm starting to figure it out. I w- actually went to a Detroit Lions game, oh. uh, so I think they won. Yeah. So uh, that was you're a very lucky good. man. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Well, obviously, you've made your debut with the Red Wings. You've played a few games. How have you felt the adjustment has been from the AHL style to the NHL style for you? Uh, of course, it's a, it's a difference. Uh, I think the biggest difference for me was coming from Sweden, play on a bigger ice to go to a smaller ice. Uh, just this step from uh, from AHL and uh, to NHL was... Uh, was closer to each other I would say but of course it's great hockey players up here it's just yeah you, you see you just sit on the bench sometimes and you see just the places it's, it's amazing to see but it's uh, it's been learning for me to be up here just those days I've been up here mm-hmm. uh, I try to learn as much as possible and and uh, yeah hopefully I I develop Bob Bugner said something really interesting um, in the post game con- uh, press conference, that the player that you are now in Detroit and what you were in the beginning of the season is entirely different. What makes you different now? Is it you're used to the small ice surface, or is it much more than that? Uh, of course, it's it's more than that. But I feel a lot comfortable with uh, with the smaller ice now than I did before. Uh, but just figure out my game, I would say. Uh, I heard it was someone that told me that making the simplest pay- plays is maybe one of the hardest things you can do. And you, as a D-man, you want to give the forwards time with the puck. That's why they're so good and be up here. They they do great plays when they have time, and I want to give them time with the puck. I also want to be a good defender, and it's just making those quick decisions. It's maybe not the hardest passes. Uh, it's kind of a sometimes it's kind of a boring game that you play but it's it's a good play and just for me it was those simple plays be more physical uh, I have a big body and I want to use this as much as I can and I think I've learned that a lot in the AHL uh, Grand Rapids has helped me a lot with that and and coming up here it was uh, it was great to just prove that you mentioned something interesting to me when we talked in Grand Rapids and it was that part of the adjustment that you had to make to the North American style was how to live off the ice in North America and how to live on your own here in Michigan whether that's Grand Rapids or Detroit and you said that once you felt you made that adjustment off the ice it kind of translated to what you were doing on the ice can you talk about that a little bit and the things that you had to adjust to in a lifestyle sense uh yeah I felt of course, it's a new country. Everything yeah. is new. Talk English all the time. You're getting good at it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for <laughs> improving. But uh, yeah, as you said, like I think outside uh, of the ice just help you to be a better player on the ice. Mm-hmm. And 
just being more professional. Of course, I'm a, I'm a young kid and I have stuff to learn still, but that's why I, I, I watch what Ben Charlotte do. I watch what Larkin do. I watch like these older guys, uh, just what they do all day and how professional they are. And that's what I want to, to be as well, to be good off ice and good on ice as well. Adapting to the North American lifestyle, are you a fast food junkie? Because I'm assuming that you could eat anything and still not gain weight. <laughs> yeah, you kind of eat. You kind of need to eat a lot, uh, and uh, it doesn't matter what you eat. Of course, you, need, you can't just eat junk food, but it helps sometimes to just grab a extra slice of pizza sometimes to just uh, have some energy. But yeah, you, you, you're right there. Have you learned how to cook for yourself? I know that's always a big thing when you live on your own for the first time. So have you gotten better at that? I actually like to cook food. Uh, yeah. I have some good dishes that I do. Uh, I actually learned from from a good uh, good friend of mine a really good risotto recipe. Ooh. So uh, Ooh. that I have shown some of the Grand Rapids guys. I haven't shown anyone here yet, but. Uh, it's a it's a really good one. All right, you're gonna have to cook for all of us. So you're making risotto for the whole squad yeah, now. Yeah, for the whole squad. <laughs> well, especially because Daniela is a connoisseur of boiling water. She's really good at that. Yeah, I'm not and, a good cook. Then, I'm not a good cook. Then, that's about it. Can you stop making this about me? <laughs> I, can't, I can't help. I can't help it. I mean, uh, but Simon, the other night you score your first goal, and then you come out and you talk to the press. So you talk to us afterwards, and I know you had a couple of penalties that you weren't really happy about. How difficult is it for you when you, because you just seemed so angry, not at us or any, but at yourself, to try to forget about it? I, you know, you have to have a short memory. Are you still learning how to have a short memory? I think it's what works for you. Uh, I'm kind of that. I, I, if I made a couple of mistakes, I, I think of those and what I could do different. Uh, of course, we lost a game. It would be a different thing if we won it. Uh, I think it what works for you. Uh, I'm kind of letting it go after yeah. and uh, focus on the next game. You're already a fan favorite in Detroit. Everyone's really excited to see your career grow here. But I think you became even more of a fan favorite when in your NHL debut here, you decided to lay your first hit on Nathan McKinnon. It was good. It was a great hit. Did you know that that was Nathan McKinnon when you did it? <laughs> Uh, I kind of, yeah, I kind of saw it was him, but it wouldn't have mattered. Like he was, uh, yeah, he was going in my way, and uh, I stood up. He was, it was kind of heavy though, but <laughs> yeah, I think I, it wouldn't matter if it was him or or someone else. Did you notice the cheer from the crowd that you got when you did it? It's hard to miss. Like it's. Uh, <laughs> Well, when they share, you you kind of hear it. You can't you can't hear anything else but that. So, it's it's just fun yeah. to, when it gets so loud. Well, the McKinnon hit, but then getting in Kachuk's grill. Oh yeah, to that be, too. Had, <laughs> <laughs> that, that had to make you feel pretty good too. Yeah, he was holding my sticks. I was kind of pleased with that. But uh, yeah, he said some words after and. I said some words after, but yeah, we had a good chat. <laughs> you guys are best of friends now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, I'm sure he's yeah. Gonna, they're on each other's Christmas list. Uh, you know, I read that you're a student of the mixed martial arts. Um, should you let the league know that? Because if you get upset, you're. You, <laughs> I mean, are we going to see you? You know, maybe go into a mix, mixed martial arts frame of mind. Uh. <laughs> I haven't had any fight yet uh, on ice. Of course, in Sweden, but now with drop gloves and, yeah. and stuff like that, uh, I can. If someone do anything to my to my teammates, I'm I'm gonna stand up for that. Uh, if someone do anything to me, I'm gonna stand up for that. Uh, no one has really done it yet, uh, but of course, I'm not gonna back down. Mixed martial arts. Uh, Mixed, uh, I, uh, are you mix, like a black belt or whatever? Yeah. No, no. I've been just doing it in the summer just to get a different uh, training. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I still get tossed around uh, <laughs> by those guys uh, home that I, I train that with. I to believe. Oh, no. They... they <laughs> <laughs> they toss me around. And I, I think I I met one guy first time I was there. He was uh, I want to only know centimeters. He was hundred 
65 centimeters, so he was short. Wait, how many? Okay, so he was he small. He was yeah. short, and I was like, okay, what can this guy do? <laughs> so he apparently he was the best guy in Europe in jiu-jitsu. Oh, boy. And so he <laughs> threw me up, and he threw me down, and I was laying on the ground after five seconds, so... <laughs> I have some stuff to learn there yeah, as well. Still but, learning. Uh, yeah, it's it's just fun to to do different stuff in the summer, and it's great workout as well. Yeah. So, I think I have a great idea. We're gonna start a new feature where Simon teaches all of us mixed martial arts, whatever you oh, know. Oh no, no. But Art, you're the one that he's gonna you're gonna fight Simon, and that's yeah, how great, we're gonna learn. Great. Okay. And I'm on the ice with Mo to teach him how to do a backhand. Or you want? Yeah. You know, yep, yeah exactly. Yeah, these guys hate me, so. I <laughs> no, that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> well, Simon, thank you so much for taking the time to join us, and thanks to all of you for tuning in to another edition of the Word on Woodward, presented to you by Bud Light. We'll see you next time.